Hello, all my people. Uh, at, at first glance, this looks like a normal battle, and it's definitely been a while since I posted a battle. However, this battle is a roulette battle against Xerxes, and as you can tell, it's a fourth gen battle, as to be expected. And you know, I even completely forgot that in this game, you don't even see team preview or anything, so, um,. I completely forgot, so, you know, first turn he sends out this Gliesker, and I figure he's gonna be the standard, uh, Stealth Rock, uh, Roost, Stealth Rock, Roost, Earthquake, and I think they had Stone Edge or Ice Fang, I don't remember, but it was something like that, so I figured I'll go for Teeter Dance and then Body Slam, you know, hopefully get some Parahags going here, cause Ugly Mofo here, uh, the only thing uh, he's got going for him or she's got going for her is haxing the crap out of people and that was a crit. At first I saw I saw the counter keep going. I'm like, what is going on here? So uh, he sets up his toxic spikes. Um, what I don't want right now is, you know, rapid spinners or, you know, being toxic. So what I do is I just go for the body slam and I figured this one is going to definitely kill it off judging by the damage the last one did. And so uh, Ugly Mofo here actually took out a Pokemon and without taking any damage by uh, herself. So she sends, he sends in, I'm sorry, he sends in his Metagross and I kind of thought it's going to be the um, Rock Polish or no, it's Agility uh with the three moves so i tricked him my choice scarf just in case he wanted to set up on me and i know that i can live any attack from him so right now he's scarfed and he goes for the ice punch and i am not fearing any of his attacks at all right now and because i have a defensive investment so i figured you know i'm gonna take hits pretty well i'm gonna this is gonna be a three hit ko and unfortunately, here I made the biggest mistake ever in the game. I went for the Rapid Spin instead of going for the Stealth Rocks. And this cost me the match. Or, you know, I could have switched here too. Into, no, I couldn't because I have the Life Orb. Never mind. Yes, I made the biggest mistake here of going for Rapid Spin instead of my stealth rocks because I'll, I'll tell you how it's gonna cost me so I go into my Milotic this Milotic is a scarfed Milotic so uh, he switches I just went for the Hydra Pump right off the bat I was hoping to get a bit more damage on the star me so I could you know stay in and like miraculously outspeed it and kill it but no that's not gonna happen uh, I'm expecting the Thunderbolt here in this case so I go into my Dratini and Dratini is solely dragon, so that is not going to be very effective at all. However, the unfortunate part here is that uh, I get critted, so I guess this kind of makes up for the crit that he got before. And I get hacks! I mean, come on, I'm a dragon dancing Dratini. What the hell do you want from me? So I was forced to go for the extreme speed here, and not much of an option. Uh, I can't Dragon Dance because I'm paralyzed, so I go for the Extreme Speed, and yes, my Dragonair gets a crit right back in his face, so I guess that kind of makes up for the Parahax. You know, this battle was so much fun. I see all these OU pokes, I'm like, come on, pull through. So this is where my problems come in. This Shedenja comes in, so I'm going through my pokes thinking, what do I have with moves that actually hit it? See, if I had rocks up, this thing would be dead, no question about it. So, I go back into my ugly mofo, and I was hoping to, uh, I think I was hoping to go for, uh, body, body slam or something, apparently, rock slide, okay. This was apparently one of the only few moves that was super effective, and, uh, I got rid of the sash, so I guess that's one less thing to worry about, however, now I'm burned, so, you know, my body slams won't do a lot, and he goes for the protect, stalling me out even more, I guess, it's weird, so, uh, I don't know why I went for the teeter dance there, I was, I guess I was hoping to, like, get him confused and hurt himself in confusion or force a switch and get some paralyze hacks in the way or something because that's the only way a glow mofo is ever going to kill anything <laughs> so he switches back out to Gliesker and <clears throat> I just went for the teeter dance again so you know hopefully going to get some more hacks up in here solely relying on that because this thing is god awful um <clears throat> I think I stay in here uh despite being burned just because I don't think I can do a lot 
and actually he switches I, I was hoping he'd switch anyway so uh, I do switch too I guess <laughs> I guess this thing still has use to me I went into my Milotic because I could take hits and I could also outspeed however here I was expecting the thunder punch coming especially since he's scarf now as well I didn't want to take my chances so I go into my skeptile uh, this is really the only thing that can kill a Shedenja as well and this thing gave him so many problems um, thankfully I carry the hidden power fire here and that's gonna do a lot of damage however it's not gonna be enough to kill him I believe this is gonna be a two hit KO so um, that only means I'm further getting worn down by my life orb and thunder punches that are coming my way and unfortunately for me um, this is gonna be what wears me down and what's gonna um, be bad in the long run because here I am gonna kill his Shedenja with my hidden power of fire this is the one that I broke the sash from however the problem now is now that my life orb is just getting more damage down on me um, uh, what's gonna happen is I find out later that he has another Shedenja and as you know they have a uh, priority move so that's what he's doing right here I just go for the leaf storm um, I don't really care about my special attack drop and at this point I do not know that he has the second Shedenja so what's happening is he's wearing down my Skeptile however I really don't think that this crit mattered considering I'm max special attack and I had no defensive drops and I'm life orbed and Gliesker's defenses are pretty bad so I don't really don't think that crit mattered there and you know this is where I find out where my stealth rock would have definitely helped I go back into this thing I, I'm just trying to salvage my Skeptile and I was expecting the Shadow Sneak because I think that's the only move that can hit me with Shadow Sneak and X Scissor I'm pretty sure I can live in X Scissor and still end up um getting a confusion on him or something here so um <clears throat> wow actually go for a sub ah that was that was an odd play i go for a sub which isn't helping me in the long run considering i'm burnt but um i guess i find out what he's gonna get locked into which is thunder punch again and that means that i can't send in my melodic i mean i could i think that would kill if i did send in my melodic but um, I go for a teeter dance here, hoping to get him confused, because I think the only attacking move I do have is body slam, which sucks ass, man. It sucks ass. Uh, <laughs> this thing is awful. Did I mention this was a roulette? That's why this battle is so horrendous. Um, so, <laughs> I end up going to my Nido King. Oh my god, this Nido King set. I will never forgive myself for making this set. I was clearly high when I made this fucking set of Nido King. Right? You got this, like, the Nido King that's usually mixed and it has Fire Blast, right? Well, this shit does not have Fire Blast. Holy fucking shit. I go for Hidden Power. I'm like, maybe Hidden Power Fire? Hidden Power Ground? What is it? Why do I have Hidden Power over Fire Blast? What the fuck is wrong with me? So this is my demise instead of having fire blast on this thing or any type of super effective move uh it just does not happen so uh i go back into my ugly mofo expecting for some reason i was expecting shadow sneak again but he goes for the x scissor and that is going to take out but my poor little spinda my spinda killed something this match he she is a warrior that's all that matters so i go into my milotic I'm like, is this Milotic's hidden power? Is it fire by any chance? Nope. Hidden power is not fire. Hidden power is not anything that is super effective to this shit. So, fuck me. Because what I'm left with this match is a fucking Needle King and a fucking Milotic. They both have hidden power. None of them is a hidden power that is super effective to a Shedenja. So, I am literally fucked the next match. Like, holy fucking shit, I hate this thing. If I only set up stealth rocks instead of rapid spinning, I, <clears throat> I'm so stupid. I mean, I, my main concern was, like, the toxic spikes just, like, slowing, not slowing, but taking damage on me. But then I failed to realize that I actually had a Needle King on me that could have soaked up the toxic spikes. And I'm literally, like, 
the worst Pokemon player in existence. And why the fuck does this thing have Sunny Day? This, this, this is so weird. Honestly, this roulette battle was going so well for me. I was like, you know, I got all these UU pokes going on. I got these underused pokes or whatever. And I'm totally going to, like, have fun here. And he's got all these OU pokes. And I might actually put up a fight. I was so happy. And then I saw these Shedenja. And ugh, it crushed my dreams. <laughs> Needless to say, this battle made me cry. And it <laughs> it enraged me so much. I fucking hate Shedenja. I why does this Shedanja have Sunny Day? Everything about this battle confuses me. So I, I literally am wasting my turns away. And I can't do anything. And I'm just waiting for him to like kill me already. But no, he doesn't want to kill me yet. And this is like, oh my god. He's just torturing me right now. And I'm just like crying. Why the fuck does a Nido King here have Fire Blast? What the fuck is wrong with me? I, I, I know I said this before, but I was so mad at myself because I thought, why, what the hell was going through my mind when I made this Pokemon? I don't even fucking know. And uh, clearly, I still have my Skeptile, but what's going to happen is he's going to Shadow Sneak me, so I'm going to die. I'm like, maybe it'll live, maybe it'll, no, nope, not going to live, no chance in hell. So what I'm left with is my Lodic. My Lodic, why... Why is your hidden power a piece of shit? It's probably like hidden power grass or hidden power electric. Both of which are clearly useless in this scenario. I was hoping, you know, my Lodic might have a cool ass hidden power, but nope. This, <laughs> this sucks. I just had to wait to like die. Poor little my Lodic. It did not <laughs> rape anything this match. Um, regardless, it was an interesting match, despite my loss, and I hope you guys enjoy this 4th gen match, and, uh, bringing back the old times, man. Look at that team, that team is so fucking beast, if only Nido King had Fire Blast. That is my only concern, I would've won, that would've been my win, but, unfortunately, things did not work out, but that's okay, I still had fun. And, uh... That's about it, guys. Uh, I love you all, and uh, it's definitely been a while since I posted. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and good night.